Hello folks, welcome back to the weekly NeoVim plugin video. Today we're going to be covering a NeoVim plugin called NVim UFO to help with code folding. Uh, what is code folding? Well, I think the easiest way to uh, kind of describe it is just to show you. So here's the UFO um, GitHub repository. Code folding is when you have multiple lines of code um, with indentations like code blocks and you want to be able to collapse or expand those particular lines. So you can see here he's clicking on the side arrows there and then it's collapsing and expanding the corresponding code blocks. It's really useful if you have a repository like mine. Like if we come into my plugins plugin config file where you have a function here or you have a top level block called require and then in that block you have all kinds of code that has even more blocks inside of it. So I want to be able to collapse and expand these code blocks into one line. That's where UFO comes in. NeoVim does have code folding capabilities built in, but UFO kind of makes it more user friendly in my opinion. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna cover first how to install it, then how to configure it. Uh, configuration is a little bit more complex this time around just because there are some key maps that I think are key mappings that I think are important and then we're going to go into useful commands um, and uh, all of these settings and all of these configurations will be posted on my github repository linked in, in the description below all right so let's hop in on how to install it I keep all of my plugins in a plugins.lua file and I use packer to install them so to install UFO, we're going to go ahead and uncomment this line, which I've already added, that tells Packer where UFO is located, in this case, a GitHub repository. Packer is smart enough to know, hey, that this is a GitHub repository, and some dependencies. So we require promise async. All right, once I have that in there, I'll go ahead and uh, reload my uh, NeoVim and do a Packer install install that particular um, module with its dependencies so there you go installation is complete now let's move let's move on to how to configure it I keep all of my plugin configurations in a file called plugin configs.lua so in here let's go all the way to the bottom I'll do the very basic minimal setup for this plugin which is just to require a ufo.setup uh, you can see here that ufo require or ufo does supply a minimal configuration with several options uh, for a provider. Uh, a provider is just like a, a back-end um, language server or language server client that can uh, help UFO recognize code blocks and therefore do better folding. In my case, I'm using one called COC NVIM. Uh, let's not worry about the details of this right now. I'll create another video with how to install and use COC NVIM. It's a really cool plugin. But for now, let's just focus on UFO. So I have COC NVIM already installed. Don't have to worry about that. And so I'm just going to call require UFO setup, which I've done here in my plugins configs.lua file. They also recommend some VIM options to set. Fold column, fold level, fold level start, and fold enable. So I have all of my Vim options defined in a uh, file called settings.lua. So uh, in here, I have those options defined. You can see here, I have them defined. And they also recommend some key mappings. So they have a key mapping to open all the folds and to close all folds, which is useful if you have you know, a large file with multiple functions or multiple code blocks and you wanna fold them all and expand them all. So I keep all of my key mappings in a file called keymappings.lua and I've already put those two lines in here. Let me just uncomment them and I should be good to go. I'll go ahead and reload my NeoVim here and there you go. You can see here a kind of some numbers appeared on my uh, what they call this a column status line. So you have number two here, and then you have these dashes that have appeared. So that essentially means that denotes the depth of that code block. So for example, here, require. You can fold require 
by pressing Z A. So that's just Z A. You can unfold it by pressing Z A again. All right. So that's pretty cool, and you can do so for all code blocks. So you can see here, this is has a little dash to the left of it. I can also fold this code block. Once I fold it, you can see here, there's a dot, dot, dot on the right, um, which denotes, hey, this is a folded line. So you can unfold it again by pressing Z, A. Okay, so what if I wanna uh, fold everything in this code block? For that, I do Z capital A, and if I do Z lowercase a, then you can unfold it all again. Um, so Z a, and then Z a, and so forth. So Z capital A, Z a. So Z capital A unfolds everything, all of the nested code blocks. Z a, if a code block inside that code block is already folded, then it won't unfold it. You have to use capital A for that to do all the nested code blocks. What if I want to fold everything in the buffer, everything in this file? In that case, that's what those key mappings were for that we've defined. For me, they are ZR to unfold everything and ZM to fold everything. So ZR to unfold everything, ZM to fold everything. So you can see everything, when everything's folded, it looks pretty nice. So you can see all the top level code blocks. So this is useful if you wanna look at all of the functions you've defined or anything else that you've defined in the file. So it's pretty cool. So that is UFO. I uh, really have been enjoying it so far. Uh, next week we'll pair it with um, another NeoVim plugin called Indent which shows you the indent lines to the left of the code. So you can kind of have a better visual of what's folded and what's not folded and which bracket aligns to which function and so forth. All right, thank you very much.